what is going on everyone welcome back to another luna classic video guys slowly but surely all my videos are just luna classic videos and you guys are loving them you guys are showing me a lot of support so i'll continue to pump these out as long as you guys smash the like button and hit that subscribe button let me get to 25,000 subscribers that'd be amazing now guys i want to quickly say before we start if you're in canada you know exactly what happened the past two days i literally had no wi-fi no service um, like my data on my phone wasn't working. It was an absolute shit show, right? Rogers basically just stopped working. So I was offline for the past couple of days. I had to literally drive to my library to just get Wi-Fi uh, and just to see what's going on. So I did see a couple things going on. I couldn't obviously make videos just because it was just way too much of a hassle. Uh, but regardless, I am back and here to go. So let's talk about what exactly is happening, guys. So to start off, we can see uh, with the charts, Terra Classic down about 1.43%, which honestly, guys, is not that bad. It really doesn't do much, doesn't mean anything, because uh, we do also understand the whole crypto market is just not moving right now, right? Um, one thing I do want to show you guys is on coin market cap. This is actually the number one trending, and we can see guys when you actually zoom out in the past 30 days, Luna Classic is up over 50%, guys. So it does look pretty cool, right? In the weekly, it's not looking too great, all right, right down down about 16%, uh, but we got to understand as well, this is because there was a nice massive pump earlier on over here, uh, and we can see it is really starting to plateau, okay? So again, nothing crazy is on the end of the world, but um. We do got to understand, right? When there's a nice massive pump, there will be a bit of a retracement. So two things, two main things I want to cover in today's video. So the first thing uh, was this right here. So if we have 1.2% burn tax in place, it will likely burn 1.6 billion Luna Classic every 24 hours. This is what our devs had stimulated in the test. Now, guys, so I'm seeing a lot of these coming up on Twitter uh, with, you know, Terra Rebel devs and just people in general just sharing these simulations, right? So on the test net, if they did have that 1.2 burn tax, 1.2% burn tax, there is a lot of Luna Classic that is gonna be burned. So I think it is quite interesting to see that a lot of people, the lunatics, you guys, myself included, we're all seeing, okay, if this burn mechanism gets implemented, how quickly is this thing gonna absolutely pump up to the moon? Because I think there's a huge potential here for things to go crazy, right? And I think people are gonna slowly realize, okay, we need to you know, make more volume, more products are gonna be built on, more NFTs, more burning, and it's just, the more, the merrier, right? The more burning, the merrier. And this usually isn't the case, but in crypto, yes, it is. Now, another thing I want to show you guys is uh, this right here. This is actually CZ Binance, uh, the CEO of Binance. So he basically says uh, zero fee trading, uh, Binance creates a few problems. So recently they did a zero fee for buying Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. Uh, and he was right, 99 said this. Yes, having zero fees is whack. What we need is 1.2% tax for Luna Classic. And CZ Binance says this isn't even implemented on the Luna Classic blockchain, right? That should happen first, no? And Again, that is a huge debate that a lot of people in the community have been getting into. Guys, should this be on the Luna Classic blockchain first before it gets on Binance or should it be on Binance first? I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Is it the blockchain or Binance, right? Which B are we doing it? Is it blockchain or Binance? Comment down below, blockchain or Binance, and let's have some conversation and see exactly what would work best. Uh, I'll probably make another video kind of just detailing why certain things might be, like the pros and cons of each. Uh, so if you guys are ready for that video, like I said, make sure you hit the like button and help me get 25,000 subscribers, guys, because uh, you lunatics are going crazy and it's awesome to see the community grow. Now, what is clear is that slowly but surely CZ is starting to, I guess, be more open to figuring out what exactly is the right thing to do. And it seems like there probably will be some sort of solution coming or at least some sort of announcement or some sort of change made by CZ Binance. Now, I'm extremely hyped for this. We're going to have to see what happens. If you guys want to be covered, assuming I have internet, all you got to do is stay to this channel, hit that notification bell, guys. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, got something out of it. Until next time, remember, stay seeking success.